If you've been watching this channel for a while, you've probably seen this strange device before. It's called a monitor light bar and it's perfect for students or anyone reading, writing, drawing or building things at their desk. Now it's no secret that I really do love these things. I mean, it just makes the entire desk experience a little bit nicer. So there's no glare on the screen, there's no weird shadows when you're trying to write and it also takes up less desk real estate than a dedicated desk lamp. And if you want to know more about monitor light bars in general and their health benefits, I have a separate video on that topic that I will link down below. But for this video, I'm going to be reviewing this newly released product from BenQ, and it has a really, really cool feature. It's called the Screen Bar Halo, and it's essentially just a light bar, but it also has something very unique on the back. It's actually a backlight that illuminates the wall behind your monitor. This provides something called bias lighting, and it's actually an extremely effective method to reduce eye strain and headaches from staring at a screen too long. It raises the level of light behind the screen so that your eyes aren't just staring at a single bright source of light coming from the monitor with a dark background. And because the light source originates behind the screen, you get all the benefits of increased light in the room without the problems of glare or light shining directly into your eyes or onto the screen. This also increases the contrast of the screen and improves colors and image quality because there's no light going directly onto the screen and diffusing all of the colors. Now, personally, I have my home office relatively well lit at night, but I still use a screen bar with bias lighting. You'll also notice I have no overhead lighting. The ceiling light is completely switched off and this is to prevent any light from spilling onto my monitor screen. Again, this ensures color accuracy and just makes the screen look nicer. I find that this particular setup actually helps reduce eye fatigue after staring at a screen for hours and hours, at least for me personally and in this specific room. So how does the bias lighting on the screen bar halo work in real life? Honestly, it works pretty good because up until now, I've had to kind of jerry-rig my own bias lighting. Typically, I would get a cheap LED strip from Amazon or eBay, stick it to the back of my monitor. It was a real pain in the ass to set up and then not to mention actually changing the color temperature and the brightness. That was very, very difficult. Uh, this product just makes it so much easier because it's all built in and it also comes with a wireless controller that actually lets you change all of the settings. This controller is powered by three AAA batteries and allows you to change every feature of the light bar by simply hovering your hand over it for a second to activate it and using the dial to change whatever setting you've selected. You can adjust brightness, color temperature, let the controller set these things automatically depending on ambient light, or even set a favorite setting with the heart icon. And yes, you can turn each individual light on or off, but you can't adjust individual brightness or color temperature. For example, you can't have a really bright front light and a dim backlight, which I found to be annoying. My only major complaint with this controller is apart from the rotating dial on the side, Everything else is touch sensitive. Personally, I prefer physical buttons and on the Halo controller, it can be quite awkward switching between settings, especially because you can't easily see the other settings icons when they're not illuminated. I think the BenQ Screen Bar Plus controller does this much better. But the Halo controller does look very premium and the wireless capability is a game changer compared to having another cable hanging off my desk. Moving on to build quality, and it is exceptional. Now, it is mostly made of plastic, but it still looks very, very premium, and it also just feels really, really solid. You can obviously adjust the angle of the front light to ensure zero screen glare, and the top mounting bracket has foam protectors to ensure the top of your monitor is not scratched, and the whole device sits firmly attached. And yes, you can easily attach this screen bar to curved monitors. BenQ even includes a little adapter to help for the really curvy ones. Ideally, you'd plug the little USB power cable into the back of your monitor if it also has a USB port, but if not, any kind of powered USB port will work. Okay, so let's have a quick chat about pricing because this product is not cheap. 
This version, the screen bar Halo, is currently 179 US dollars versus 129 and $99 for the other BenQ variants without the backlight, or even just 50 bucks for a budget option from Basus. So this is definitely a premium device, and it really comes down to how badly you want that built-in bias lighting at the back. Now, for me personally, like I said before, I spend a lot of time at my desk typically when it's nighttime. So I can justify this cost, uh, especially if I keep this device for about five to 10 years. But for other people, maybe not so much. And in that case, of course, you can just stick with one of the budget screen bars that will cost three times less than this one, but won't have obviously cool features like built-in bias lighting or a control puck. Okay, so, Overall guys, despite the price tag, I think it's a pretty solid device. There are some negatives. I do wish that you could adjust the color temperature and the brightness of the individual lights. Also with the controller, I wish that these buttons weren't quite as finicky, but overall, you know, if you're gonna be using this every day for five to 10 years at your desk, especially at night like I do, I think it's a pretty solid investment. But apart from that guys, thanks for watching this video and I'll catch you in the next one.